Hey, what's up guys? The Books here again and welcome back to Men of War. I know it's been a long time since we did any Men of War and people have been requesting it. You guys really want to see some Men of War. So of course, I'm going to return with two videos and we are going to reopen the fronts. Yes, we are reopening the Southern Strike front. Uh, I don't know. I think the Russians and Syrians came out as winners there because they had like the local superiority. You know, it's it's kind of a lot easier for like... Russia to get down there to Syria than it is for like America and all and over in Europe the the the, the US one in Crimea I, I don't know they they beat them back somehow I guess they have a lot of European support so it's easier there I thought it was I thought it was logical and fair you know everyone's bothering me over fair and then they're bothering me over realism and and logical stuff and shit I don't know like you know things happen unthinkable things happen who would have thought that the Germans would have lost World War Two in 41 like no one like so yeah anyway we are gonna head to uh isis and donetsk or we're gonna fight with isis and we're gonna fight in donetsk because i know that there's lots of fighting with the russian separatists and i actually haven't have i made any russian separatists videos yet or did the russian separatists show up after i stopped making my crimean war videos i can't remember truth be told i can't where did all the CW maps go? There they are. Good, 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 good. Uh, European city. I don't know. We need to. We need Donetsk. We're gonna go to Donetsk. Donetsk. Is that a Russian? That's a. That's a military city, isn't it? Yeah. We'll just reuse a map, and hopefully it'll be good. Oh, we crashed. Right. So let's not use that map. That was a crash. I don't think that's happened before. Hopefully it won't happen again. We're not gonna try it again. We'll just try Carnitour. Sounds sounds Russian to me. Or. Eastern European. I don't know. Hopefully we won't crash again. If we crash again, I'm going to be so sad. I'm going to be so sad. I don't think we're going to crash. I really do not. Okay. This isn't Donetsk. 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 Shit. Have we even had a... Have we done a video on this map? I don't know. I think I played around with like some... Some separatists or rebels around. I don't know. I'm like asking myself, have I made a video... After, you guys ask, you guys answer, should I say, have I made a video after the the pro-Russians started fighting the Ukrainians? Because I don't think I've covered that. I've only really done, like, Russians and, like, Ukrainians over here. And then I stopped for a while. I went over to the Southern Strike. And then the pro-separatists or pro-Russians showed up. All right, but I got to make one with ISIS as well, uh, fighting the Iraqi army. But this is cool. I like being back. It's good to be back in town, 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 town. We need a battle. This is the outskirts of Donetsk. Very dangerous place. You shouldn't be here. Okay, we make separatist. Okay, so to make a separatist, we're gonna base them off the VDV. But we're gonna give them different camouflages and shit like that. Although the separatists, they have been using lots of camo, so technically this could be separatists. You know, you never know. They're gonna have like regular AKs like this one and perhaps a PKM like that. So, you know, nothing over the top fancy, but nothing under, under the top fancy, you know. They should have, should they have proper weaponry, you know? Okay, let's look at text mode. Let's see. This is the Arab one. This one's really cool, though. Bashar al-Assad. Okay, let's see here. Um, these are still Arabs. These are Arab rebels. That's good for the ISIS. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait to make the ISIS. And that could be like the Iraqi. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. It's good to be back. It's good to be back. A a a. Then you can use the Chechen one, because it's a little, you know, mix camo for this mix camo. And wait. Uh, Chechen officer. Yeah. Nothing that makes them look like, you know, um... Did he say Sigoin there? Fuck, mate. I'm getting sick. There we go. There we go. Let me steal your AK for a while there, sir. I will equip you with uh, the other AK. So this is always going to require a bit of attention, you know. 
But it's it's good. Everyone likes. But yeah, he's gonna have his face covered. So it will be very cool. Okay, what's the difference? They have so many back like, like these guys. They shouldn't have over the top many backpacks, you know. Like some of them can have backpacks, of course, you know, like the RPG carrier. Yeah, we're starting to get somewhere now with the pro pro separatists or pro Russians. Why do I say pro separatists? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, so we need the AK. That one. Do we need we need an AK? AKS forty seven. Stuzadanie. He can have big backpack and shit. Right, so we're gonna make some variants of these soldiers. First of all, your cap. I like it. And we need more caps. Caps for the people. Actually, now he looks like a Taliban because he they, they, he has that, you know, um, turban on. Now he looks a little too much like an Arab. Yeah, that one's good. I like that one. Of course, some will have helmets and all, because, you know, they have helmets still. They're supplied by someone, some faction, some country. Oh, oopsie. Right. So this is a squad. Let me just make sure that the, it, it passes my quality. We got some guys. Yeah, this, this, these are the pro Russian separatists, definitely. They got their gear, they got their guns, they look dangerous as hell, as hell. And they're gonna be defending this village. This is a pro-Russian, this is outside of Donetsk, okay? This is a pro-Russian headquarters right here. And I'm gonna send these guys out here because I'm gonna copy them. They're gonna get tanks, gonna get tanks and shit. Now we need Ukrainians. Let's see. Da. Ukraine. Ukrainsk. That helmet, though, is like fucking post-World War, man. Like, skip that helmet, dude, because you can do better. And then we're going to give you... That uniform, though, is... Okay. I'm going to prefer... Like, I've seen... It depends on if like you're in the Dumbass Battalion or something like that. But... I think, like... This could work out. That just regular woodland. They look a little Arab, but, you know, we won't pay attention to their faces. Actually, he... At least they're definitely like the Syrian army here. <laughs> yeah, regular woodland will work here. It's easier to distinguish them then. I don't think they have any set camo for the Donbass Battalion or whatever they are. Uh, so we will give them something like this, you know. Head, uh, beret, no. Um, that's a cap. Can they wear the cap? Yeah, they can. Good. Actually, truth be told, you know what? I think we can do ourselves a favor and save some time. Why am I doing it this way? They're gonna speak Russian anyway. We'll just deploy the MSO. Okay. And then just hook him up. With a different skin. Okay, let's not go with Arab Rebel, but the uh, Ukrainsky. Ukraine. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe that's a little too. Looks a little too rebellious, huh? Going through a bunch of Arab skins. It's just a never-ending. Right, there we go. <laughs> These guys are going through time. Yeah, that looks a little cool. That could be... No, that looks a little... Yeah, that'll have to do. 
That would be the dumb bastard. Whatever you want to call him, go ahead and call him. So this is like a company of those guys. And the pro-separatists, pro-Russians, pro will be quite a few as well. And they will be armed to fucking teeth. We are fucking pro-Russian. Fuck you, is what they're gonna say. So like, 10 minutes and we're already just still setting up. That's what I like about this. What have we seen them use? Well, definitely some of these BMPs. Have we seen them use any? No, I don't think so. But like, pro-Russians with the BTRs? P probably. I mean, definitely I've seen them with a BTR-90 with the, the, the fucking confederate flag on. So we'll give them a BTR-90, right? Just something like that, something cool, something chill. We don't want to involve too many rockets and we'll give the uh, these guys coming in here on like a convoy of these. Definitely I think that the... Ukrainians or the Donbass should be, uh, as far as armor goes, superior. Because that would make sense, right? But the. I think I'm gonna give the other guys a bit of a setup, like advantage as far as setup goes, because uh, they seem to always ambush Ukrainians wherever they go. Maybe even give these guys some artillery, because I think I've seen. Yeah, they can have a grad. A grad, a grad is a little too. Have I seen them in front of this? No. We've seen this thing, though. We've seen this thing enter. Enter Ukraine or enter the eastern part of Ukraine. Uh, tank. We need to give them. There's just so many cool tanks. I think they were in a T64. I think I read something. I think I read something about a crew that was actually in a T62 or 64. We'll try with the T64. Uh, I think I yeah I read something about one of these militia crews that would actually place them one of those. And we'll give the pro-Russians a T80 that they captured or took or. Yeah, that's that's about the same thing capturing and taking, but yeah, we'll, we'll give them one of those, and we'll see how this ends out because they got two, three. three yeah. This should be cool still, and uh, as always, with the editor in hand, you can make a lot of changes. So a cool place for this tank would be somewhere where it's kind of like hidden, and it's like in a, kind of like a you know like in a Band of Brothers scene, when it's like like here. Like no wait, that's stupid. It should be in like um. Cool if it was like parked inside like this. Obviously that wouldn't work. It would just burst out and destroy everything. But like in here, in the shade like that, it's parked like that. And these places, these fences just wow, wow. They've been brought down there as he, as he went in. Right. And some of these bushes are gone as well. This tank's been standing here for some days, so yeah. Makes sense, right? Right, that looks a little cooler. Like it's gone in there. And this tank, this BTR is just standing here. Right, so to crew these, uh, well, we'll just send a few guys, I guess. One to tank. Hello, tank. One to BTR 90. We'll send a command crew in here. Or not a command crew, but like a squad in there. One here. These guys can spread out throughout the towns. I don't want trenches here. Keep moving like a bullet train. Alright. They're in there. I think for the rest, um, the car. Yeah, I can give them these Toyota Hilux things. Yeah. That's a little. Yeah, that this is very, very pro-Russian. This is a, this one's a transport one as well, so they can a lot of these can ride in here. That's pretty cool. F me, mate. That is bloody cool. Davai. Stravonio. Dag Toshna. And they're gonna be arriving in from, like, over here.
They'll have quite a few vehicles. And the Ukrainians won't get that much reinforcement. I don't know, like, yeah, we'll see. I think the Ukrainians got a bit of an advantage there with the with the extra, the extra rocket vehicle, because they seem to do quite good against everything else, really. And over in this building, we will have this, the, uh, the separatists spread out here and there, ready to defend their lovely headquarters in this, this outside Donetsk kind of region. Thing. They'll be on their toes. That's pretty chill, if you ask me. And now, for this, guys. Problem is, if they blow up, they blow up good. And they lose everything. But they ain't gonna hit me. They're gonna arrive from back here like... Reports of pro-Russian activity in this village. Ukrainsky, we must take them out. Hopefully no one dies on their transit. You run, Ivan, you run. Okay, we are ready. This is staging point. This is cool to attack over here as well. Keep moving like a bullet train. Um, I can control these guys later. For now they'll chill there and then they'll arrive in. Perhaps I'll even... Yeah, I'm gonna even... Little staging point here. Ready to move out, you know. Alright, where's the other one? Back here? Where did the other one go? Wait. One, two, three. We're missing one. There it is. I see it. Don't hide. Send that in like that. Can these guys sit? No. Screw with them. Don't. Um... I think that's about it. Are we ready to go? Do I need to save? I'm afraid of losing. If I save this, I'm gonna lose the other things. So what I do is, I save as... One. See? Da. Da. All, all units will remain, of course. And then, when that's done... Yes, everyone's here. We save this thing as a one, and we reload this thing as a one. It's a little, you know, it takes its preparations and stuff. Not much more than that. Nucky Thompson. Alright, and then we do the, like, some beautiful time. This could be it. Okay. We go. We go. Davai, davai. This guy's like front scout, he's like... <laughs> okay, we're moving in, we're moving in. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I don't know if this is like the dumb bass battalion or whatever you want to call them. These guys don't really know what's coming for them. Well, they kinda. They kinda do. I want this T90 to get a real good hit at that thing. It would be really cool to, to start this battle off like that. There's a stone in the way. Oh, he could potentially get it as he crosses up there. Alright. I'm gonna send a scout out. Oh! Whoopsie doopsie! Whoopsie daisy, comrade. They're, they're checking this sound to see if it's empty or not. And then this guy's like... Oh, motherfucker. Oh shit, oh shit, there's definitely pro-Russians in here. We gotta go. Just a bunch of guys with SMGs. Oh my god, we got nothing on them. Whoa. 
All right, let's get the guys out. Let's secure the town. We gotta get to Donetsk. This guy can't really go. Do I really need to ask you why? There we go. You can swim. You don't have to, but you can. Whoa, that BTR went up like that. Oh, he's spotting, he's spotting for the tank. He's like, 200 meters, right? Fire! Boom. There's a rocket. Oh. Now for the reinforcements. This will be cool. Go, 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 go. Have we got any AT capabilities in here? I don't know. Bacano. Get to the headquarters. Okay, they've started cleaning out the outer area here. Okay, we got some AT capability here. Where is it though? Here it is. Here's one of them. You gotta get out here. You gotta sit down and you gotta you gotta be ready to give it to them. Okay, we're gonna set up the car here for a firing position. You guys are gonna get out. You guys are gonna hold this perimeter. You're gonna hold this one. You're gonna hold that one. You're gonna set up the car right there. You guys are going to have to hold down against the advancing troops over here. Very vital, very vital. Here they come! Here they suckers come! Oh, they're close. Got any nades for them? Any of these nades will work? Here comes the infantry! They really need to turn the car around. Okay. Let's go then. Suka suka. Hold them by the car. Oh shit. Tight. Ooh. We're down, we're down. Okay, so like only like infantry remains now. Pretty much only infantry. I'm gonna try and make I'm gonna try and this here. I'm gonna get this guy over to this side. This thing that refuses to move, it's just sitting there. Let's bring it up. Oh! He's down. We better get the hell out of here before he spots us. Can he really get away with this? Hull integrity? Fuck back in, guys. There we go. Okay, all pro separatists, or whatever you want to call them, pro Russians, get the fuck back in the house. Like now. Like immediately. 
Because there's a bunch of Ukrainians coming after you. They're really mad, okay. You, you've upset a few people here. You need to defend your headquarters, guys. These guys really want to nail you for it. Donbass! Ukraine! Ukraine! Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna stick to these pro-Russians here for a while since they are in a really shitty spot. He's gonna be just... ready to nail one there. He's gonna go like... Oh shit, these, these guys are really defending the point. This is a bit of a point of a no return, I'd say. They gotta defend this corridor here. Oh! Indoor shooting! There's some intense close quarter combat in here. Get in, get in! Flush the bastards out! There's one in the room right next to me. Get a grenade in there, Igor. Get a grenade in there. Ah. Where's the local commander? Here he is. There he is. He's right there. Dorofey Bogdanov. Oh. Sir, you got to go. You got to go, sir. Grab the vehicle. The cars are, the cars are down. They're both out. Shit. Ah, kurva. Alright. Okay, they're gonna defend a back room. Like this one right here. There's no point in running now, they say. Прикройте меня! Противник впереди! Твою ты ж мать, закончили! Get down, get down, get out of here. Come here, come here, come here. Oh, they're gonna shoot through the wall. That's a little exciting, isn't it? Okay. Provide cover fire from outside. Go. Oh my god, what a nade. We have to flash him out. And he's like, oh, they're behind me. And he's dead. Alright. That was a hell of a firefight. Jeez, man, look at this. All these red guys, all these blue these all these yellow guys. Are Ukrainians. A lot of them died on their way up here. Dude, a lot of them died up here in the hill that well. The Pro Russians did really good too. I mean, I, I mean, you know, you gotta assist aside every now and then, you know, when it comes to movement and stuff. But that was really cool. This guy just chilling here. They lost this tank, and they lost these. I mean, they the Pro Russians lost a lot, lost a lot of infantry and all the vehicles to these BMPs, but. With the uh, AT capabilities of the pro Russians, they did okay. It's pretty nice. I like it. It's cool. It was a good fight. This BTR went down really quickly, though. Didn't really have a chance to fight, unfortunately, for them. Oh, this one's still alive, but it's like broken. Can't do any fuel repairs right now. In the middle of a battle. That was cool. That was sick. We have secured this. Next up, we got to go to Donetsk. So they're moving to the city. Thank you guys for watching. I enjoyed this as well. Bit of fun on the site. Gonna be making more. Next up, we're gonna head down to the Southern Strike again. Uh, the ISIS or the IS is obviously back, and we're gonna put them up against the uh, the Iraqi army, I guess. Perhaps with a little American air support. You know what we're talking about, baby. Those A10, those Apaches, and all that stuff. It's good. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you're enjoying the fact that this is kind of back, I guess. And I'll see you guys soon again. Ciao.